Anyway, I, I shared with you what Brokaw said on the Today Show today earlier with Matt Lauer, but I want you to hear it. This is just to illustrate for you the disconnect. And this has nothing to do with, with whether you're a conservative mad at Trump or whether you're a Trumpster mad at the establishment or what have you. Tom Brokaw is the establishment. Tom Brokaw epitomized. Tom Brokaw, the face of it. And he's on with other members of the establishment, Matt Lauer and Savannah Guthrie, and they're all wringing their hands over, whoa, 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 what's, so go- what's going on in the Republican campaign? Why is there so much anger? Anger. And here is what Brokaw said. President Obama promised change, but he initiated a blue state agenda, health care overhaul, same-sex marriage, and met intractable GOP opposition. Congressional Republicans were not interested in negotiation or compromise. They had their own problems with the Tea Party. It's an NBC special correspondent, Tom Brokaw, report on why Americans are angry. There's actually a special NBC report on why Americans are angry. And that's it. They couldn't be further wrong if they tried to be. What do you mean Republicans were intractable? Did not everything Obama wanted happen? We've got Obamacare. We've got gay marriage. We've got everything that he was serious about trying to accomplish. He's got. Well, maybe you throw Gitmo out of there, but but I mean, that's what what intractable GOP opposition. There wasn't any. Tra- this is how far off the beaten path these people in the establishment are. They are so cliched. They are they're in a time warp. They're back 30 years ago, 20 years ago is still the angry white male, as far as they're concerned. The angry white male is a bunch of Republicans, and they hate progressives, and they don't understand modernization. They don't understand moving forward. They don't understand compromise. That has nothing to do with why Trump's where he is right now. Or more properly stated, it has nothing to do with why people don't trust Tom Brokaw, Matt Lauer, or any of the other members of the establishment. It isn't about that.